A little over a week ago, Behavior introduced us to Alan Wake alongside some rather nice quality of life changes. One of those things being the rework to the artist teachable perk, Grim Embrace. Due to the perk not really rewarding individual hooking, they decided to create what is currently being coined as the most autopilot killer build to exist. And it goes a little something like this. Grim Embrace. Each time a survivor is hooked for the first time, all generators map-wide will block for 12 seconds, once the killer is at least 60 meters away from the hook. Once you're at max tokens upon hooking the last survivor, all gens will then be blocked for 40 seconds. Seconds, and your obsession's aura is revealed to you for six seconds. Up next is Scourge Hook, Pain Resonance. You'll start the trial with four tokens. The first time a survivor is hooked on a Scourge Hook, the generator with the most progress will explode, instantly resulting in the loss of 25% progress. My next perk is Dead Man Switch. After a survivor is hooked for the next 30 seconds, if any survivor stops repairing a generator by any means, the entity will block that gen for the remainder of the timer. Being that we have Grim Embrace and Pain Res, that should be no problem. And my last perk to fill in the blanks is Deadlock. This perk is incredibly passive and requires nothing from you. Each time a generator gets completed, the next gen with the most progress will then block for 30 seconds. The reason why it's considered autopilot is I can focus on simply chasing survivors and my perks will do all the heavy lifting for me. For today's video, I decided to run with the Legion due to Feral Frenzy being a great tool in locating survivors. But before we get into the games, I'd like to take a brief moment to talk about today's awesome sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. What is Bespoke Post, you might be asking? Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. Every month they introduce their members to cool new products based on the preference quiz they fill out. They've got awesome clothes, cool things for your house, cooking and camping gear, basically just high quality stuff in every category. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Take for example, the Trail. The gut hook knife in the Trail box is made by Titan International, located in Illinois. They now offer a new membership program where you can get really great deals all year round. I'm talking like 30% off or more sometimes. Did I mention it's totally free to join? Preview your member shipment before it's set. You'll get a customized selection of products picked for you, and before it's shipped, you can preview what's inside. Decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap out the products, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. For my two boxes, I decided to go with the Weekender and the Lid. The box arrived fast and the packaging was delightful. The Weekender bag, this thing goes way back. The style was originally used by stonemasons to haul their tools to construction sites. Now it's gonna fit all my cool stuff that I need while I'm traveling. If you haven't noticed already, I'm a huge fan of hats. So for my second choice, I went for the lid box. Of course, the packaging was perfect, but it didn't only come with a perfect hat built for all weather conditions. It also included the active wear spray from a tire care. This keeps my clothes in prime condition, whether I'm leaving a workout or a sweaty game of DVD. So what are you waiting for? To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, click the link in the description or go to bespokepost.com slash spooky gift. And thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Okay, this map's kind of big. I think they brought us here. They did. Okay, so first things first, we got to find some survivors. This is pretty much the hardest thing in this build. We don't have any ore reading information, right? So we kind of just got to find out where we think they're going to be spawned at. About the only patrolling we're going to do, and that'll that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. I don't think we go feral frenzy just yet. Not yet, anyways. Blind me, maybe? That's my boy right there. Champion of Light. I am very slow, but it doesn't matter. He, his pathing is terrible. All right. Nicely done. Yes, sir. Little nodders for you, buddy. Now, obviously, it's way too early to use a score check at the moment. So we're just going to use a normal one right here with Grim Embrace. We saw the Nancy slip into this tile. Let's see if we can find her. Right? That's Grim Embrace. That's, that's DMS, actually. Okay. Let's go uh, use this opportunity to go see how many uh, downs or injuries we can get. We'll kick flip here. Boom. Nice, looking good as always. I think I make this uh, a little bit closer. Yeah, we get one more. We're gonna go back to the Nancy actually because our add-ons allow us to uh, see where she's mending. So within 24 meter range, we should be able to see that. Where are you? There she is. She, she just, I don't think she finished it though, but she's oblivious. <laughs> Let's get Jackpot out of the way. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Goodness gracious. I see what you're doing. We're going to cancel here. Nice. I see it. I see it. I see it. Not really a lot of progress on any of these gents. I don't think at the moment. So I'm going to try to preserve my Scourge Hook Pain Rest tokens for later. And just let DMS kind of carry... Or uh, uh, Grim Embrace kind of carry us a little bit. Pardon. There's the Mend. Obliviousness. 
Down he goes again. <laughs> I'm right here, buddy. In a DC. We love to see it. We love to see it, don't we? There you go. All right. That's, uh, I think Steve is going to be our next target. We've already got two charges of Grim Embrace. Everyone's injured. Uh, not the way. I think she's going to stick around. No. Please move. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to use one of our tokens here. Let's go ahead. And we know where Yui is. Good information. That's going to be the gem with the most progress on it. Dead man switch. Blew it up. Locked it up. She should be over here, right? We're going to actually double back this way. They're all frenzy. So four hooks. Not bad. Looks like everyone's over here. We're going to get a little bit closer with the action. And we'll just, we'll just cancel, I suppose. Nice fake. Nice fake. So now that we've used one of those, we've blown up 25% off the main gen. This Yui is going to go down, no problem. Jump in the locker, probably. Yeah, no problem. I'm cool with that. I got all the time in the world, baby. And what we're going to do is we're going to put up on a normal hook, and then Grim Embrace itself is going to activate, which then will also reveal our obsession for 40 seconds while everything is blocked. There we go. Let's get out of range, and voila. All right, where is she? Right over here, getting healed. Let's get you injured again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I don't know what my Leon bot friend's doing. Ooh. Good stun. Good stun. Into life? Okay. Let's get Steve, though. There we go. Seems like a nice guy. All right. Where's the blood? Where's the blood? DMS there. Nice. Go get rid of this pallet. I don't know what my bot friend's doing. He's out here. Uh, he's gaming. He's gaming somewhere. Nice medium bolt there. Huge. There's a save. I don't really think there's anything crazy going on at the moment, but just for the sake, dead man switches up. Let's go ahead and use painters again. <laughs> Insta pull, no problem. Let's go find the others. Ah, uh, Jen, we out here. I don't know if it's the bot or the uh, or Yui, but DMS is gonna pick up the remainder of that, so that's gonna stay blocked. Really, a whole lot of progress on it. 30, 40 percent. Normal hit there. Bloodlust should be coming in here momentarily. We're going to be a little bit faster. There we go. Just like that, baby. Just like that. I don't think I've used a, uh, a pain res hook on her just yet. I don't think we have. But that gen got finished, which I can only assume is the Leon bot, which didn't deadlock that generator right there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Just in case. All right, that was a that was our pain res on that one. I think we're uh, I think we're throwing in the towel now, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a fan. The question? Oh, the bots over here. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yep. It actually blinded me because I can't look down during the fatigue. We didn't have to use the rest of our perks. We only finished one gen. That's kind of it. That's that's all the. Only finished two gens, rather. No. That's kind of it. That's the uh, the premise of the build. I don't really have to do anything other than chase, which is lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Family residence and the lights are on. This is fantastic. Go back here. Ready, Feral Frenzy. One, two here. Okay, one's already on a gen. I don't know what this guy's doing. Maybe doing totem things. Nice job, Meg. Nicely done. Take Shaq Pal to get me out of Frail Frenzy of five gents. I appreciate it. Uh, he's going not the right direction for us. No, the bamboo! Oh, that's tragic. All right, let's go back for Meg, actually. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> okay, let's go and get rid of God Palette. Break that, and then Grim Embrace. Lock it all up for me. Let's do it. Uh, only a little bit of progress there. Not a whole lot. Looks like they're healing, which is, uh, if they're going to heal against me, it's going to make things a lot easier, I reckon. Where, where, where? Oh, you go. Here we go. Pallet? Okay. And this looks like someone's going for the rescue. We'll go intercept that. Lori Strudel again. We just, we just did this. There we go. <laughs> 
gonna uh, see if we can block that window with the fatigue. Nice. Little trick you can do with the Legion, which is awesome. All right, Meg's going into second, which is tragic. I don't know if anyone's actually working on Jens, which is lovely. She's dead. All right, not bad. Nobody decided to save her. However, we're not letting off the gas. Let's go. Yeah, lots of progress here. Yeah, they got the save here. I'm going to break this door. That's really, really far away. We know none of the gens over there have any immediate risk of being finished that, that fast. Nothing on that side. Oh, they healed pretty quick. I wonder if there's two. A lot of comp spirit today. What the hell is going on? Uh, being that the gens got a lot of progress, we, it's most likely the one with the most progress. Let's find a scourge hook and let's paint res it. Take 25% off the top. Boom. Being that, D, uh, being that Dead Man Switch did not block that gem, we know Alan Wake is not back on it. But Krim and Price is <laughs> still working. Could this be our man? This is our man. All right. He's going this way. Cut him off this side. All righty. A little bit closer, buddy. Looks like our streamer friend did go to struggle. We tried to make us some attempts uh, to get off the hook himself. Oh, nicely done. Paul Reimers Bees. <laughs> some of the names in DVD are too funny, man. Holy goodness. Hey, you wish you had this pallet still, pal, don't you? Unfortunately, it's gone. This is going to be Alan Wake. This is the last and final piece of Grim Embrace. And we still have all of our tokens with the exception of one. Let's go ahead and block that up. Boop. They did finish the gen. Which deadlocked this gen here, so we know that's the one with the most progress. I get to see my obsession. Lori showed way on the other side of the map. But everything is blocked for 40. Let's go find her. Looks like she's heading to the left. Swing into the pallet. Let her stun me. A little bit faster. Break the pallet. We still got about four or five seconds left of Grim Embrace. Now, hopefully they're going to stop to heal, which would be ideal. If they stop to heal, that's going to give us plenty of time. To down this lorry and put her on a skirt hook. There you go. Okay, they're not healing? Yeah, they're gonna pop the gen. That makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Okay, let's take a look here. Deadlock. Mmm. Don't really make sense to skirt hook anything at the moment. I'm gonna go hook her over here. You know what? We'll just use it. On the off chance that another gen's got progress on it. Which it did. I'm glad we did that. So deadlock that, and then this got skirt hook DMS'd. <laughs> yes, sir. Wasn't this one, that's for sure. Probably that one, I would imagine. But Dead Man Switch is not really going to give us a whole lot of value right at this moment. We're over here, buddy. Sounds like you are. DMS is getting value. <laughs> All right, pal. She loves this corner. Holy cow. There's no way we're doing this again, are we? <laughs> we're doing this again? Okay. Okay. Almost got me with a flashbang. He's going to go ahead and finish that gen. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm going to put her into the oblivious status effect and hopefully let her go mend somewhere. And then we should be able to pick her up where she's at. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, if somebody dies or you know gets rid of themselves on hook and you didn't get a chance to use all of your, your pain res tokens, they kind of just get wasted. But here we are. But we can use Dead Man Switch. To see any information, see if Alan Wake is anywhere nearby. Obviously, when you're playing Killer, always make sure to check your, your offerings. See if there's any hatch or main building spawns or anything like that. Nice. He found it. Good for him. How foggy it is. Just cigarettes in here. So RPD is relatively on the larger side, but with these perks, we don't really have to worry about anything. We can kind of just take our time with our chases. The Entity will do all the heavy lifting for us, which is such a beauty. All right, where the fuck is everybody? All right, TV station. People outside. Oh, shit. Hold on. We're cooking right now. We're actually cooking. Oh, no. We biffed it. That's okay. Go ahead and throw this one. Nice, nice, nice. Wait for our power to come back on, and then we'll throw our friends again. All righty, here you are. Okay, let's cancel again. Oh. 
into the window and there we go there nice okay i don't want to use any of my scourge tokens just yet fairly early so let's go ahead and just use a normal hook right here grim embrace we'll go ahead and lock that up right about now thanks that's everything on the map, which is completely blocked, which is nice. So my concept is I want to be able to use all my Grim Embrace charges first, chase everyone, and then use our tokens for Skirtrook Pain Residence afterwards. That's kind of the idea. All right, we got somebody downstairs coming for the save. We're going to be able to get a nice little double hit here right about now. We'll go there. Put her back into deep wounds. Put him into deep wounds. I don't know where the last piece is. I'm going to go ahead and cancel here. Jake should, is oblivious. It looks like he's mending right at the top. He has no idea I'm coming. We'll get a little bit closer, and then boom. Nice, just like that. That's going to be some etch ruler value, baby. There you go. All right, and Grim Embrace locks it up, and boop. Let's do it. Nice, look at that shit. Gorgeous. I hear a Claudette in here. I hear a Claudette in here for sure. These insane mind games, dude. Throws a pallet. We vaults. No big deal. Deep wounds. Find out where everybody else is. Okay, that gen has lifted. Looks like she's making the big run outside. Nothing really big to worry about, I would suppose. You know what? Claudette's probably mending. Let's go back. Love that. <laughs> All right, we need one more, and it's going to be the... Uh, I don't remember her name. She's from Alan Wake. The Denny's chick. From Denny's. <laughs> All right. That, actually, that gen lifted first. That's DMS on that one. I don't know if it's her, though. Let's find out. Everyone is injured, which is obviously a good sign. Oh, golden. Let's go. We're going to use we're gonna use Feral Frenzy just so we can find the other one. We'll cancel. She should be close. This is Arena, anyway. Oh, yeah. This pal's going immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. There we go. You know what? I think it's time because I don't know where the uh, the Denny's waitress is. Let's go ahead and use our first Skirchuk pain res. Let's use one of those. Hmm. Okay. They finished that gen. Somebody screamed. Okay, definitely. I think I, I think that scream was her. Really too worried about it. I don't know where she is. Very stealthy indeed. We'll down her there. Good stun, good stun, good stun. All right, Deadlock blocked the main building. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get Zarina out of here. Being that we already used one of our tokens. Here we go. She's a goner, nice. All right, let's take a look. Somebody ran out front. They ran, into, ran, ran over here to the side office. Okay, cool. Oh, we're feral frenzying for sure. Where's the other? There she is. She's hiding outside. All right, we're going to commit to her. I guess we know where she's going. Good info there. Those other two have to mend, so I'm not really too worried about it. And we still have three of her tokens, which is lovely. And for about that launch, Grim Embrace. Are you, are you like, in the shitters? Like, where are you at, bro? She's literally a ninja. I have no idea where she went. All right, what? De deadlocked uh, the helipad up top? This has got a decent amount of progress on it, but we can already tell that it's got a whole bunch, a uh, whole bunch more on the other one because the deadlock decided to block that one instead. Nice. Let's go ahead and get him out. Let's see. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that's her scream. So she's definitely down here. Lordy. Dude, she's like, she's invisible. I swear to God. All right, we're committing. We have time. We got all of our tokens and shit. We can commit. Nice deep wounds for her. We'll break the pallet. We're staying in chase. We're not losing this one. <laughs> We're not going to lose her again. Oh, yes. I got to love it. Got to love it, dude. There we go. Down she is. Okay. So we don't want to use Skirt Chuck Pain Res yet because we still want to save our tokens. We'll just use a normal Grim Embrace, which is the last piece. So now all we got to do is just hunt down the final two. And we should be uh, looking good. And that should block right about now. All right, who is this? This is Claudette. She's also, she's also completely healthy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Now I'm not seeing. Okay, Jake's over here towards. Uh, looks like it's towards the basement or something. Healing. Okay, this is perfect. We got all the time in the world. Down she goes. Yeah, we'll just normally hook here. There we go. Nice little trade for us. Boom. Looks like she's going to be running away. Probably get a save on Claudette. So let's go and pick him up. Now, Jake and Claudette are the last two that we have for Scourge Hook Pain Res. Grim Embrace is now lifted. Now all I got to do is just take him over to a Pain Res token. And we're good to go. Boop. They're both on Death Hook. I think it's pretty much it. That's pretty much going to be game. We didn't even have to use the rest of our tokens yet, which is lovely. Okay, they finished that gen. Helipad's deadlock now. Not bad. Let's go to put her in <laughs> back onto the ground. Now he's going to find the ninja. The ninja from Denny's, so to speak. Oh, I just heard the... Oh, unfortunate. Back to your shift. 